Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Juline and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. I'm going to be doing my monthly plan with me for April. So this is a kit that I'm going to be using. It's from Prince Petticoat Bandit and I'm not exactly sure of the name. I want to say it's like Lavender Fields or something like that, but um, I just love the teal and the lilac tones of this kit and it has some beautiful florals there. So I always use a Sunday start but you can always choose a Monday start if you want. And then it comes with all these labels. I accidentally printed out the budget version so that is actually what this looks like. Um, I'm not going to be doing my budgeting in this particular plan with me but I am thinking about starting to keep track of my shop budget in a separate planner in my design planner so I might actually keep this handy and just print out the rest of the kit again in order to do that because I am going to be bringing physical stickers and whatnot to my shop so it's not just going to be printables anymore so this might be a nice way to keep track of all those expenses and bills and those other things so um, I have that and then this is the rest of the kit so you have a functional sidebar but I have actually printed out the decorative sidebar here instead um, I chose the girl with the darker hair and I actually printed out her a couple of times because like I said I want to do the budgeting option as well um, let me know if you guys want to see that video um, it'll be using the same kit though so I don't know how like interesting that would be um, but it is going to be different content because it is going to be for budgeting whereas this I use as kind of like a forward planner so let me know if you guys would be interested in that but you do get some decorative boxes there as well so that's what I'm going to be using for this month and then this is what March looked like I really love the whole St. Patrick's Day theme to it I think it turned out really nicely I do have a plan with me up on my channel for this already and actually I think I've been using all Prince Petticoat Bandit kits for the monthly section so far so that's kind of cool um, I think for next month though I may be changing it up I know she changed up her style of monthlies so I might pick up her new ones or maybe I'll make some of my own for my own shop so we'll see it depends how much time I have but I'm using inserts from my shop. You guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. And this is definitely one of my best sellers in my shop, the A5 Wide Monthlies on two pages. So I'm gonna pop these out and we can get started. So for this month, I actually had something canceled already. So that just means I have a little bit more extra time. So that is great. I'm gonna go in with the two top bits here. Now you can actually um, put the month like already when you print it out but I don't typically do that. I usually just keep it separate on here so that I can change it up if I want to. I just really love these tones. I think it's so so pretty. I am coming up with my own ideas for my own monthlies in my shop so if you guys have any suggestions on what you guys definitely need in a monthly kit then let me know because I'm still in the brainstorming process of that and kind of deciding what kind of style I want okay so there we go I have that all done and then I'm gonna go in with the date numbers. So I think this month starts on the Friday. So how are you guys doing? March was pretty busy for me because I had a book release. So one and only the, I think it's eighth book in my Moonrise Beach series, which is just crazy to think about. Um, it's the second last book of the series. So that is already out by the time you are watching this. I'm actually in the process of publishing it right now. So that's why I took a little bit of a break because I do have to wait. So as I'm waiting, I am filming this, but you should be able to get it now. It's on Amazon and it's actually free on Kindle Unlimited. So my Moonrise Beach series is a contemporary romance series. It's also a series that you can read out of order. So that means that you don't have to start at book one if you don't want to, but I obviously do write it in chronological order. So you often see a lot of cameos from the other characters of the other books throughout the series. 
but One and Only is definitely one of my more emotional books. It's a bit of a tearjerker and it's a very special book to me because when I wrote it actually back in 20, I think it was 2018, you know, I was writing all these events thinking it would make a great story, not actually thinking that some of the events of it would happen to me. But fast forward a couple of years later and yeah, it's crazy how your art can actually happen in real life. So once you read the book, you'll probably understand what I'm talking about, but it's definitely more of a emotional book. If you liked In My Dreams, which is Sage's book, then I think you'll enjoy Robin and Kate as well. Kate is a little bit of a more serious um, character. Um, if you guys are familiar with the anime term Sundara, that is kind of how I wrote her. I wanted to write a character that kind of had two sides to her, so um, a soft side and another side that was more serious, easily agitated, um, and things like that. But as the book progresses, you can definitely see the softer side come out. And I definitely explore her vulnerability a little bit more throughout the story. But like I said, it's definitely one of my favorite books that I've ever written. Definitely means a lot to me. So I hope you guys will love it as much as I do. Let me know if you end up reading it because I would love to know what you guys think. And if you do love it, don't forget to review it on Amazon or in Goodreads, wherever you like to review. It definitely helps out an author a lot. So, but because my release is all done now, it means that I can actually focus more on the shop. March was pretty difficult for me because I was juggling changing my shop from a printables only shop to more kind of like a hybrid. Um, I'm still going to be doing printables, but I am going to be offering physical stickers in my shop now. So making that transition while also being on deadline was kind of difficult for me to juggle, but I still managed to do it and, I, and I'm pretty happy with how both sides turned out. So that is great. But that just means that um, in terms of the shop, there's going to be a lot more changes happening in the next coming months. So I hope you guys will look forward to that. I am going to be kind of plotting out my new releases because I want to release at least a couple of new kits per week or maybe every other week, something like that, just so that you guys have options when planning. But now that I have my base done, I do want to start going in with these labels. So I actually had two events um, on the first, but one of them got canceled. So I am just going to put the one now instead. Um, I have just zoomed in also because I felt like we were a little bit far away, but this event is a really cute event for Easter. It's called Honey Bunny. So that is for work. And then if my other work event happens, then I will add that in. Let's go to the side of the spread. Um, I do have another event here on the 5th. So again, that is for work. So let's write that down. I think I'll use these labels for my sales for this month. So I have a couple of sales for my books. Let's see, um, on, the first one is on the 12th and that is for Nirvana and More Than This. So if you guys are interested in picking up those two books, you'll be able to pick them up on sale this day off of Amazon. So there we go. And then just to add a little bit of deco because it is a book sale, I'm going to add the deco book above that. And then to mark the duration of it, you guys know the drill if you have watched my videos in the past. I'm going to use the washi strips that come with it. So we're going to mark the whole event until next Tuesday with this washi. I'm just going to use my ruler here to cut it actually. This ruler is really, really great at that. And 
and then we'll extend it here on the bottom just like that um, and then this week towards the end of the week we do have Good Friday so let's use a label for that or maybe I will use the balloons so that is on Friday obviously And then I do have another event for work on the following day. So let's mark that down. And then Sunday is Easter Sunday. So let's grab another label and I think I will mark it the same way as Good Friday with one of the balloons. And then the following week after I do have quite a bit of things. So I have my website renewal that is going to be happening on the 25th so let's use a larger flag for that because that kind of, that only happens once a year so website renewal and then i also have a book to renew this day so we'll use a label and we'll mark that towards the bottom so that day is going to be pretty busy um, i do also have two more books on sale the following day so Legacy and About That Night will be on sale on Amazon and we'll mark that the exact same way as the first sale with the lovely books. And then actually on the 27th, it's my shop's anniversary. So that is really, really exciting. It's been, I think, two years now. So just crazy to think about how quickly time has flown but like I mentioned the shop is undergoing major changes so it feels really nice to have an anniversary when all those changes are happening so to mark that down I think I'm going to go ahead and use one of the baskets with the flowers to make that stand out a bit more and I'm just going to fill in my website renewal as well as the book renewal that I need to do. So there we go. Um, every Monday I do also have paydays. I'm going to grab all the little payday stickers here and then we'll pop them down on each of the corners. I may skip out on this one because I don't have enough space, but I already know that every Monday is a payday. So that works out. And then I don't want to forget to mark down the duration of the sale this week. Let's use the washi strip once again to mark that at the bottom. And then this sale will actually run into the next month. So I'll just leave it there for now. Is that everything that I want to mark down? I think so. It seems lighter than usual, which is nice for a change because I have been so so busy lately but I do want to add in the extra boxes here on the days that I can and then also the kit does come with these beautiful scallop edges I'm going to be using these so let's say we have the four and then the one here I love these kits because of the kind of scallop edge it matches my inserts really nicely so I am just going to run this across here. You guys have to let me know also if you guys are interested in like budget monthlies. So that might be something that I bring to the shop um, as well as like scripts and other icons and decos. So let me know as I am still in the process of brainstorming and designing products for my shop. So any feedback would be greatly appreciated. I'm gonna grab my April month script and we're just going to center that here at the top. And then as a little finishing touch, I do want to use these boxes here that I have left over. So since this part here is a little bit bare, I'm gonna lift up the date numbers first and we'll just add them here. I'm gonna add this one here on the 7th. I'm 
And then I do have one more. Should I put it here on the third just to balance everything out? Okay, so there we go. And then I just have some of the extra deco left over. So let's go ahead and use some of that. I love these butterflies, they're so, so pretty. I feel like the colors of this kit are very me. I just love the lilac tones, very serene. So I think that is everything for this monthly spread. I just added a little bit of the deco in some of the sparse areas and I think it fills it in very nicely. So I'm gonna pop this back into my planner and you can see how it looks like all put together. So there we have it. This is my monthly spread for April 2022. I just love the tones. I love the girl on the side and I am in love with the whole lavender and butterfly feel. I definitely feel like it's very me. So if you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below. As always, you can find these inserts in my shop. Don't forget to use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. And I will also leave my previous monthly plan with me at the end of this video if you guys are interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.